Hi guys, this is Christine from Say Creative. I'm just going to show you something cool that I learned and I am by far not a Photoshop expert, but when I learn something neat, I do like to pass it along. So I am doing this specifically for UV printing and I am working on a refined color 6090 that I got from jaysprinterparts.com. Um, if you're interested in checking one of those out, I'll have a link that I'll post below. Tell them I sent you. And I am going to show you how I add my spot channels. But not only that, I'm going to show you how I created an action so I can do it with the click of a button. So first, I'm going to show you the long way. And this was knowledge that I obtained through the kindness of other users. So I also have to give credit where credit is due. Um, so my friend Lisa did walk me through this part of the process. So thank you to Lisa. So we're starting with a PNG transparent background and you're going to be using spot for your print, which means that it's going to print white under the complete image, including the white parts. Um, that's something to note. If you use an image base under under layer, uh, it can eliminate the white and you don't want that to happen. So they recommend that you do use your spot channels. So the normal process is that over here on the layers plant panel, you right click, select pixels, and you'll see that the colored parts um, of the PNG, the non-transparent are now highlighted. Then you go up to your menu and you select, I realized that my zoom menu was um, actually showing there. I'm using zoom to record my screen. So I apologize for that. So we're going to select modify. And since we're doing white, we're going to contract it. So we want that white to be slightly inside the boundaries of the colored layer. So we're going to contract and I'm only going to contract it by one pixel for this example and hit OK. But we're not done yet. We're now going to go over to the channels and you see that I have my regular channels here. And I haven't unchecked or unclicked anything. I'm just simply going through the motions, select, contract, go over to the channels menu, and then the bars here on the right, you're going to click that, new spot channel. And the last one I did was varnish. Um, in this case, we're doing white because we contracted it, and I make that one blue. So you want to name your white spot channel white and your varnish spot channel varnish. If you don't have a printer that actually has the varnish, then you, you would stop here with the white. So you just hit OK. And now you have your white spot channel. You'll do a file, save, and save it as a TIFF, a TIFF file. Now, I mentioned that varnish channel. So we're just going to repeat that, come back over here, right click, select pixels, select modify, but for the varnish, we want it to go beyond the borders of our print. So we're going to expand that. And for my purpose, I'm going to expand it by two pixels. So I hit OK, come back over to the channels, hit the little drop down, new spot channel, it defaulted to white, change it to varnish, I make that one red, and hit OK. So now I would save this with both my white and varnish as the TIFF file. So if you only have a printer that you need the white, you would save it with just the white layer, or if you need both, you can save it with both. But as you could tell, I clicked through that and it was very repetitive. And it was the same process, essentially just differentiating it by going between expand and contract. So now I'm gonna show you something called Photoshop actions. And I'm going to just quickly undo, and I'm just going to command Z to back me out of everything I just did, right? So I no longer have anything selected. You also see that I have this menu. I'm going to close that so you can see where I get that. If you go up to window, um, just go ahead and select your actions here. Photoshop comes with some pre-built ones. And then I created a folder to put my UV spot channel printing. And you can see I created one for a single white 
a single varnish, or one that does both. And here's the beauty of it, right? I literally hit play. Boom, done. I go over here, my white channel's there, my varnish channel's there. Magic. So I just bypassed all of those clicks and hit that one button. So now I'm gonna show you how to do that. So again, I'm gonna command Z and actually it's gonna stepwise go back through the process um, because if you're familiar with Excel and working with macros, that's essentially what you're doing here. You're gonna record yourself doing a series of steps that it's going to save and then execute. And it's gonna do it so fast that it seems like it's at a click of a button, but the program is actually going through and selecting your pixels, going up to the select menu, going into contract, et cetera, et cetera. So how do we do that? So like I said, I created a folder and I believe I just clicked this button here for the new folder. Um, but after I did that, I hit this button here for create new action. So what I'll do is I'm going to create a white spot channel that I'm going to contract by two pixels for my example. Okay. But know that you could carry that through and do your white and varnish just like I did here. So once we click new action, it'll start recording my behaviors. One tip that I want to give you that I read and I get all of my information straight from the Adobe um, website. So again, not inventing anything new here, but one thing that they mentioned, don't record yourself doing a file save as because you could be in your next project and when you execute, it'll file save as the name of the last project that you saved when you recorded it. So definitely don't take your action that far or you'll continuously overwrite that old file, okay? So without further ado, click that button and we're gonna name it. So I'm gonna call this spot channel white two pixels. And I'm gonna save it in my folder that I had already created. You can create a keyboard shortcut. I don't know all the Photoshop shortcuts yet, so I didn't create one for mine. Um, you can also assign a color. I, I did assign a color for mine, um, but I don't know where they appear. So we'll just do it for fun. We're gonna make that one indigo. And then we're gonna hit record. And now we're just going to do what we did at the beginning of the video. I'm gonna come over here, right click, select pixels, select, modify, contract. And I said I was gonna make this one two pixels. Hit okay, channels new spot channel. We're going to make this white. I said I make the white blue and hit OK and hit OK. And from here, we stop recording. So now if I go and command Z my way back and get rid of all of that. Now you can see I'm back to my original layer. If I highlight that particular one that we just recorded, spot channel white two pixels, and I hit play, boom, done. And you can see it appears right there. So again, I have to file save as my TIFF um, to make it go or make it printer ready, but I have just saved a whole series of clicks, right clicks and menu selections and all of that fun stuff and added my spot color with just one click. I hope this helps you and have a great day.